the wheels, I ban them, don't stand them. I'm the first one to put free wells on the phantom. Girls see me and scream. I'm repping all leans. I got cars, baby, and flex ain't never seen. It's zipping in the game, but he can't pimp my ride. I got everything flipped from the end to the outside. So, got the basics of my uh, transmission line uh, subwoofer done. So, as you can see, I'll just give you a little look. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And as you can see, I got uh, the screws in here. I also got two screws there, over there. And uh, I will solder a cable on here and on here. So I have like a cable running through here to the speaker and then to the back. And I will have some sort of. Or we'll just have another two screws. Or I'll buy one some of those. Uh, connection pins, some of those pins that you can, uh, um, yeah. So probably buy some of that crap. We also have to buy some some dampening material, and I will, I guess I will buy some wool. And uh, we'll also buy some spikes for the floor stand speakers, and. I thought of buying one for a resistor if I ever want to measure some speakers up because I don't have any things for that but yeah I just use the parameters of the website and yeah it looks really good to me so still going to make some corner reflectors so if you can have all this stuff you can make some small corner reflectors with this Maybe some bigger ones or it is, so I can figure out that a little bit later on. And I figured out like if it's going to make the tube um, slightly less long, that doesn't really that isn't really a problem for me because this tube is probably tuned a little bit too low. And yeah, with the corners of like the scene it will be alright so I haven't really said how I can do this with these screws and the corner of like the same but I'll may need to pass it yeah I've made a mistake actually and I get the corner of like this over there huh. oh yeah I may need to get them out and uh, Install them uh, next to here or something because that's not going to fit. Yeah, I will just have like some corner flexors here, like that. That will obviously cut, uh, yeah, a little bit off. This is one of the smaller ones, so probably fit here nicely. So that's a little bit later on. We don't have the time to finish it completely right now also don't have the parts so just have to wait a little bit long for that but it looks good so on the end of next week this will be probably be finished and I really I can't wait to test it out because it looks great so here the pipe is 7.1 cm wide and here it's 14.2 cm wide so I have like a 2 to 1 ratio so the close end is 2 times this big cross sectional area as here so this is my T-line enclosure and thanks for watching